I don't know anything here. I need a mechanic. Hey, hello. Uh, good afternoon. No, I don't want to buy anything, okay? My car just broke down here. I don't know what the problem is, so I need a mechanic. Mechanic? Yes, where is the nearest mechanic around here? Then, <laughs> if you go down, down the road. Uh, by your right, take your right. Then I take the next right. Mm, there's a supermarket. A supermarket? Yes, after the supermarket. You didn't have the supermarket. There's a mechanic uh, yes, workshop? Yes. Are you sure? Yes. It's a good one? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So you said down the road, yes. first right, right, is right, the next supermarket, right. you know, yeah. then I get to the mechanic. Thank you very much. Uh, please, keep an eye on the car for me. Okay, I'm coming back with a mechanic now. Okay, okay. okay. Uh, boss, uh, cover your bonnet. Oh, sure, I'll, I'll cover it. Thank you. Sorry to disturb you, but I'm looking for the nearest mechanic workshop. My car broke down, so I'm actually uh, looking for a mechanic. So, is there anyone close by? Ah, that one can't take consign me. All these rituals what? and Yahoo boys. Now, so when I go to the worker, they walk up and down. They found I want to do money ritual. No. Okay, look me from head to toe. Eh? Oh, my body is covered with the blood of Jesus, Amen. as you can see. Amen. I'm covered with the blood of Jesus. I don't know what you think? You head? Oh, God. Ah, I'm only looking for a direction. Watch it walk. You, you, you got it all wrong. I'm, I'm just looking for a direction. My car broke down. I swear. Ah, come on, come on. I'm okay. I'm Sorry, sorry. Mom! Son, what happened? My car broke down. Oh my goodness. I'm so sorry about that. What are you going to do now? 
Well, the mechanic is already on it. He's trying to sort it out. Uh, it's all right. Take good care of yourself, okay? Be fast enough to come home, okay? Your food is ready. It's okay, ma'am. As soon as I'm done here, I'm coming straight to you. It's all right, son. Take care. Hey, any good news? <laughs> Sioga, you have to calm down, okay? Your car will be good soon. What does that mean? No, trust me, it will be good. I've already detected the faults. Uh -huh. Just that like it will take us uh, much time to fix it. Are you kidding me? I thought you just said my car will be good soon. And now you're saying it's going to take you more time to repair it's, it. It's a technical fault. Be specific. An engine fault. So you don't need to do it anyhow. You have to calm down. Okay, fix it all. fine. Give me a timeline. How long will it take you to fix this car and I'll get out of here? Let me just say two hours. Two hours? Is it much? Lord, have mercy. No. How am I going to be under the sun for two hours? No, no, sir. You have to come down. Just go right. inside the can, Ulas. Huh? It's okay. Just go on. Go on. Don't let me interrupt you. Go Just go on. As long as you're going to fix it, go on. Fix it. Just come down. I don't have to do it. Now, maybe quick fix. I'll do this right now. Quick fix? Like you said two hours. <laughs> what is quick about two hours? could have happened. He's supposed to have been here. Even his number is switched off.
just hope these boys have not done wrong connections in this house. I have no strength for all of this.
I'm beginning to get scared of this house. Something is wrong. What is going on? I saw someone here right now. Hello? Anybody there? Hello? Hello? Long story cut short. I am coming to see you tomorrow morning. <sighs> Are you sure you're okay? I'm fine, I'm fine. It's just that I'm very hungry. I had to eat junk. But I'm looking forward to eating from your delicacies tomorrow. <laughs> oh, sure you will. Take care of yourself, okay? Yes, ma'am. I love you. I love you too. See you tomorrow.
Lance, 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 pick up your call. Come on, Lance. Lance, pick up your call. Lance, pick up your call. Lance! What is wrong with this man? Lance. Hello? Lance, pick up your call. Lance! Midnight. I can't possibly leave my family and come see you now. Whatever it is, I'll see you tomorrow. Tomorrow? Am I still gonna be alive tomorrow? <laughs> You're not dying anytime soon, are you? Besides, you told me your doctor handles your hallucination thing, so take your drugs. Last lot. I saw a ghost! I'm sure about it! I'm sure! Now stop, now stop, don't go this one, don't! What the f- Ghost. Proceed on. Don't have to fail me this time. I know what to do. I have to get a sleeping sedative. This is not working. Not working. My brother, man, how's it been with you overseas? Look, Lance, I wish I have time for pleasantries, but I don't. I don't have time for chit chats, okay? I don't. Yes, yes, yes. About last night, right? So, what was so serious that you called me all through the night? I couldn't sleep last night. I could not sleep last night. Why? A ghost in this house. <laughs> A ghost was disturbing me in this house. Up till now. Up till now. Wait, 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 wait. Did you say ghost? Lancelot. In this house? Yes! A ghost! In this house! 
Yeah, what are you talking about? Look at my eyes. You see? They are swollen. I couldn't sleep. You don't understand. Ghost. Yes. All right. Can I go in and see for myself? You can go. No, let's go now. No, no, no. You go alone. Fine. Lance! Everywhere in this sitting room was scattered. Everything was turned upside down. But now it's been arranged. It's been arranged back. There's a ghost in this house. See, I'm not trying to mock you, hmm? but uh, I think your mind is playing tricks on you. Yeah. What do you mean? Lies. You know I don't tell lies. Okay? I know what I saw. You have to get me another place, okay? I can't stay here anymore. Get me another place. All right, let me add some more money and you give me the house in phase three, okay? I'm taking the house in phase three, all right? Send me account number real quick. I'll make payment immediately. I want you to slow down. Why? The house is gone. What? What do you mean? A house that you listed in your opening house a week ago? The transaction was concluded four days ago. And like I said, the house is gone. Lance, you're an expert in real estate. Fix me another one real quick. You can do it. I don't mind any amount I'll pay, okay? Even if it's a bungalow, I don't mind. Even if I have to share the compound with other tenants, I don't mind. Anything to get me out of here. Please, Lance, please. It's not a problem. Good. What you see in this case, it will take about a month, a month. What? A month? You see, right now I can understand how you're feeling because you stressed yourself a lot yesterday, you know? And uh, since you can't stay in this house all by yourself, I think, yes, I've got a brilliant idea. I'm going to arrange for a houseboy that will stay with you. Okay, fine but also arrange for the new buyer that will buy this house immediately. Of course, I'll, I'll, I'll buy another one, okay? But once you have a buyer today, sold. Dear, I need to leave here. Dear, understood. Yeah, why don't you go freshen up? Let's find somewhere and eat something. I'm starving, man. Uh, I have to go straight to my mom's, okay? Uh, I'll probably eat there. Ah, 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 ah. What's so funny? Mama's boy. Hi. What will happen to motherless baby? You have a wife. She can get the Thanks for the meal. Oh, you're welcome. I want some more. So can you package some extra food for me in a flax? That's not a problem. I need to eat when I get home. <laughs> it's not a problem. Thank you. But it's only going to be for a matter of time. There we go again. Avalon. Mama. You came back to get yourself a wife. I will always want you to remember that. I'll do justice to that. Barrister Mrs. Samantha. Well, <laughs> in that case, yes. I've got few responsible women that you would love to see. And I'm sure you would choose from one. Really? Joanne. Joanne? What about her? Joanne is a neurosurgeon mm. who studied 
in Oxford University. Mom, she's gonna mess with my brain. Oh, come on. She is doing very well. Okay. Guess what? What? Her family and ours are best of friends. Hmm, I see. Alexander. Mm. What about Alex? Another beautiful and elegant legal luminary. Oh, troublemaker. As <laughs> <laughs> you will not kill me. A senior advocate of great repute. Opposites. Opposites. If I needed a legal advisor, I have my mom. If I want a wife, I'll choose. Mm. So, Mama, close that catalog and excite me with what has been happening with my father's company, which you were overseeing while I was away. <laughs> Let's talk business. <laughs> Avalon. Mama. Your father, my late husband, stated it categorically clear in his will that you can only get involved and in charge of his business conglomerate only when you choose a wife or no information for you. Mm. Well, if you need to know more about your father's company, grab the company's magazine. It will guide you. Really? All right. I guess in that case, I have to hit the road and go for wife hunting. <laughs> you better do. Because very soon, I will voluntarily resign of all those duties. Mm. Pendant, when you get a woman, a wife, who can do all this for you, not me. You'll be doing that as my mother, not a wife. Cancel. No objections, my lord. <laughs> uh, I love you, sweetheart. I love you too, mom. Now, can I get the food? Foodie, yes. <laughs> I'm coming. Mama's cooking is the best cooking. <laughs> Not to you. That's my food. Mm. There you go. Ah. <laughs> Thank you, Mom. So what is the rest of the day going to look like? Mom, as you can see, I'm dressed for the games. After which, I'll go home and devour this food. Why don't you come back here? Oh, you're missing your deputy husband. Oh. <laughs> oh, mother, mm -hmm. I would have loved to, but my friend Lancelot is coming to the house. He's bringing over a boy for me, hmm? you know, someone that could be, you know, helping me out in the house. So I have to be there to, you know, assess him properly. Hmm? That's all right. Mm -hmm. In that case, yes. enjoy the rest of the day. I will, ma'am. Okay? And don't miss me too much. Well. <laughs> See you later, ma'am. All right. You know, at some point, we have to get you a hot boy. I mean, you need a second husband. Oh, my goodness. Come on, ma'am. What do you think? Oh, my goodness. Somebody needs to do some work over here. I'm too old for that. Oh, get out. Mama. Get out. Your stuff is not old.
Who is that girl on the green tongue? The girl on, on green polo? Who is she? Well, I don't know her, but she always comes here to play. Her serves are spectacular. <laughs> Look at those serves. The girl can play. Yeah, she's beautiful. Do you I like her? I think that all she knows is makeup and looking glammy. Huh? <laughs> she's very beautiful. Oh, yes, she is. It's my turn to play. I have to be at the game now. All right, no problem. All right. I'll catch up with you. All right, come and meet me Play later. your best game. No problem. <laughs> Hi. Hello. Did someone ever tell you that you look like an actress? Cleopatra Young, right? Yes. Oh, I've heard that a million times. You two look like <laughs> carbon copies. Oh my God. Jesus okay. Christ, you are beautiful. Thank you. And those serves were spectacular. <laughs> Girl, you can play. Hello. Hi. How are you? Very well, thank you. You seem to know what you're doing. Yeah. I just don't know what I'm doing. Can I can I join you? Okay. Ah, okay. Ah. It feels like a native dance. Just look at me. I'm doing exactly what you do. Oh. Sure. Be fast about it. This ah. is an exercise. <laughs> My name is Avalon. Champagne. I'll get you one. No! Huh? That's my name. My Champagne? name is Champagne Zapata. Are you serious? Yeah. Champagne Zapata. Yes, that's my name. <laughs> that's a unique name. Yeah, very well. Wow, nice to meet you. Same here. You still around? No, I, I used to come here when I had the opportunity. Ah, hard. Yeah. What do you mean how? What's wrong? Hello? Oh no. What's wrong, darling? My phone just went off. And there's a call I'm um uh, yeah, don't important. worry. I'll get you my power bank so you can charge it. Alright? Okay. Yeah. Thank you. I'll be right back. Let me get to my car. Alright. Alright. Champagne! <laughs> <laughs> I'll be right back. Yeah, here you go. You are lucky. It's fully charged. So you can. I hope this is your charger yeah, yeah, head yeah, port. Okay, perfect. So you can charge your phone and Thank I'm sure you. you can make your call. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Thank Amazing. You. Amazing. Amazing. Just save me. Ah, it's okay. Thank it's you. okay. Um, I'm, you're still in the premises, right? Yeah, I'm So, so uh, go with my power bank and, and, and yeah, I'll see done, you later. Yeah, yeah, when I'm done, you'll have it. Perfect. Take your time. I want to go play some more tennis. No problem. All right. Be serious about it. Please. I will. I want to play like you. Okay. Okay. That's a good All right. Time. See you later. Bye. Charge up your phone. Okay. Triple charge your phone. <laughs> oh my goodness. She is so hot. Woo! Bro, what's up? You are still around? Yes. I'm looking for that damn cell. I gave that damn cell my power bank to charge her phone, but I can't see her anywhere around. Who are you talking about? The Zapata girl, the, the, the fantastic player. Hey! 
What? The guy, you fuck up now. You mess up. How can you give your power bank to somebody you just met for the first time? Oh boy, that girl don't bagger your power bank now. What do you mean? What I mean is that the girl don't steal your power bank. Oh, come on. <laughs> steal? I'm telling you. That girl is too decent for such a thing. Eh, hey, yeah. she's too decent. You should have given her your car key now so that you know whether she's decent or not. Really? She's gone? She's gone, though. Thank God it's an ordinary power bank. At least you can afford to buy another one. Oh yeah now, you see later now, I want to keep my card here. Yes? Who are you? Good morning, sir. Why are you trespassing? Oh, wait. I hope you're not one of those marketers that uh, is trying to market a new product to me. Huh? And let me tell you, referring to people would not give you profit. That's a scam. Or oh, are you Je Jehovah's Witness? Uh, sorry, sir. My, my guy, Lancelot. Yes, he sent me to you. Lance? Uh, yes. You're the guy? Lance. Uh, okay. He sent me to you. Close the gate. Yeah. Yes. All right, we're going Let's go. Oh. Tell me about yourself. Okay, um, my name is Columbus Omenifo. I am from Akamanapo in Ifitente. I am the first son of 11 children. And then my family have this kind of, uh, uh, should I say, poverty infested segregation that is affecting oh, us. Oh, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Slow down. Columbus. Sir? Are you experienced in this kind of job? Um, Have you done this job before? Not really. Not really, sir. But I can always do whatever you tell me to do. I am always at your service. Whatever you tell me to do, I will do it. That is the only experience I have. I have experience in doing whatever I'm told to do. Yes, sir. Even if you want me to take bet you, you know, anything you want me to do, just say it and then I will. I will. Are I will graduate. The truth is that I, 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 I dropped out from school, College of Education, but I read every day. I even have a SWS school here. Yes. Interesting. Mm. Well then, you've got yourself a job. Yes. So. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you very much. God, God, God bless you. You are just a deliverance. <laughs> you just delivered me from that poverty I'm looking for. What am I going okay. to start doing immediately? Let me. You start me. now. Eh? Yes. Take this. Mm? Microwave the food inside. Mm. I want to eat it as soon as I'm done with walking out. Oh, yeah, easy. Why you? Let me. That way. The kitchen is that way. We exchange contacts. She took my power bank, but I don't mind. I can buy another one. How am I going to see her again? with this boy. 
Who in his right senses will be cooking by 12 midnight? Columbus! Columbus! What are you doing in my kitchen? Are you mad? Have you lost your mind? There's a ghost here. You want to go kill the me? No, do spaghetti. Columbus. Are you mad? You think I've dropped the pot myself? doing this to scare me okay. I employed you and you're trying to scare me okay. call him blood of Jesus for over time please God who are you please, something is happening here and you're not worried You have to get me another house. You have to get me another place, please. Let me call you back. Yes, I'll get back to you. The knock at the gate. Knock over. At which gate? The gate. There is no knock at the gate, Oga. My friend, will you go and open the gate? Open the gate. Don't be offended. I will need some money. You know, there are no more things in the kitchen, so I will need some money to buy some groceries. You know, I am deputizing kitchen servant and then at the gate. Yeah, you're right. That's very important. Very, very important. Meet me inside once you're done washing. Ah. Hmm? So what? Hurry up. Oh. What, what knock could he? be hearing at this early morning. I have always known that the kind of Igbo that they smoke in abroad is different from the one they smoke here. That one is foreign Igbo and immediately jammed with our local Igbo. The effect is always overreactive. That one is, his ears is jumping timing belt. How can he be hearing now? Which no? No, 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 no. is keeping Columbus. He wants to get groceries and, and he has taken forever. Huh? Stupid boy, God, God just saved you. Huh? God saved you. Yes. Frank longer than this, you would have been fired. Huh? Why would you take the money? Won't you let me in? Please, come in. Uh, you're welcome. I was...
There we are. The master bedroom. What do you think? It's a small hut, right? No. You can't call here a hut. You've got a beautiful edifice here. Really? Yeah. From the compound, mm -hmm. the parlor, yep. <laughs> the walkway, and now your room. Mm -hmm. Look at the finishing. You like? So lovely. <laughs> Thank you. So, you live alone? Well, no. I live with okay. Columbus, my security guard. We make a toast to our new friendship. Yeah. Mm. Thank you. You're welcome. Sit down. So, you're welcome. Thank you. So tell me, how did you find me? Because <laughs> I, I was shocked when I saw you downstairs. I was like... First of all, let me yeah. apologize for yesterday. Mm. I was so engrossed on a long call. And your power bank did me solid. I'm glad to have helped. <laughs> so... How did you find my address? You wrote your name on the entrance and exit roster. And you were also identified as non retreat club member. So, I trust you from there. That's a master stroke. <laughs> You've earned my respect for this. Thank you. Wow. <laughs> can see the room still needs some feminine touch. You know what I mean? <laughs> I'm here already. Well, I'm very glad and so beautiful that, you know, you came to my place and uh, for the first time, you're yeah, right here in my room. Hmm? <laughs> So handsome. Yeah. And you're so beautiful. <laughs> Innocently beautiful. Feels like I'm like I'm touching an angel.
down. Mm -hmm. Okay, watch your step. There you go. Columbus! Columbus! Get the cake. Come on. There you go. Mmm, piece of cake. You're a natural. I feel better. Get the damn cake. Okay, boss. Columbus, what are you waiting there for? Open the gates. Yeah, yeah. Hey, honey. <laughs> Is this? Hey, piece of cake, piece of cake. Hey, uh, Columbus, get the gate, get the gate. Hey, Columbus, get the gate. Hey! Hey! It is obvious that my ogre is very mad. Very obvious. I am just praying that this madness will not be happening at the end of the month. So that you will be able to pay me my salary every end of the month. It can happen in the first, second, third, fifteenth, no problem. Is that why you called me, Mom? Avalon, what is wrong with you? Your main reason for coming back to Nigeria is for you to get married. Yeah. But I can see you've not even chosen from any of the girls I presented to you. Neither have you gotten one for yourself. What is wrong with you? Come on, Mama, just calm down. I met a girl. A beautiful girl. And I like her. We're just getting along well. I know you would like that. <laughs> Tell me about her. Uh, there's really nothing much to tell for now, okay? We're just getting to know each other. But I promise I'll bring her to you. You'll get to meet her soon. <sighs> Whatever you apply, I must pass through my assessment. Certainly. Can I go now? Of course. Good. I'll see you when I see you. See you later. Be careful, son. I will. Be careful. <laughs> hmm. So why did you bring me to this place of all places? I want somewhere out of people's sight. Really? Doesn't look much like that to me. Are you blind? Why did you get just a glass? Sorry, sir. Don't mind him. What? We'll use this one. Get another glass. Right now. Huh? Yes, Why did you do that? I don't know. But I just feel you like it. I love it. <laughs> I love you too. You are as blind as love. All I see is you. I was going to ask. Have you met Cleopatra in person? 
Ah, I wish I could, but not anymore. But I hear people say we have a striking resemblance. Sure, of course, you do. I've been her fan forever, even while I was in Brazil. Yes, let's drink. I bet this is gonna be a nice wine. Yo, uh, Valoni. How well do you know the girl in question? Well enough to know that she's the best woman for me. Mm. <laughs> Look, Lance. I love her. And she loves me too. Okay. What else is left if not to get married immediately? Mm -hmm. Huh? What do you think? Mm -hmm. I'm not getting younger. No, no, no. I have to join the club. <laughs> <laughs> now you get the point. You get the point. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, that's okay. Well, uh, it's okay. You know, but at the same time, you have to be very careful. Ooh. Lancelot. <laughs> Look who is talking. Huh? As for Married Men Association chairman now, yeah? Well, you know the thing is, I've been there before you, mm. and I'm in a position to advise you. You were going to say that's, that's by the way. That's by the way. <laughs> yeah. Look, do you still want to change this house? Uh, not, not really. It's not necessary anymore. Okay. The ghost stopped disturbing me. Really? Yes. Just like that. <laughs> Valoni, you huh? have a way of surprising people. No, come on. Now, believe me. The ghost must have gone to, to someone else's house now. Hmm? Probably disturbing the, the hell out of them. Okay. But, 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 hey, I'm fine here. So, no more ghost stories. No more ghost stories. And guess what? I have enough to refill these glasses. Amen <laughs> <laughs> to that. I know you're gonna like that. Drink up, brother. <laughs> mm. Ah! Well? Baby, we can't continue arguing over this issue every other day. Then let's see my mother. She's craving to meet you. And you know better. Sweetie, I will see your mother. But I'm not ready. I'm indisposed right now. I have too many engagements. Please tell her that I will see her soon. Okay? Honestly, I don't like this. So the was all this about going to see your mother, blah, blah, blah. What's even going on? Are you trying to tell me that if I don't see your mother, we're not going to get married? That's not the point. Is that point. what you're saying? No, that's not the point. But it's just ideal for you to get acquainted with the family that you hope to get married into. I mean, what's the big deal? Excuse me. I'm out of here. And yet, to understand why you find it difficult to introduce the beautiful girl you want to marry to me. Are you alright? Good morning, Mom. That did not answer my question. Don't trust me. I will do that soon. Okay? The Zapata is, is the she's a busy type. But I promise. Who will come and see you. Trust me on that. Avalon, you did not come back to get carried away with frivolous life. Give your life a definition and get married. Mom, you need to take it easy, okay? Don't worry, I, I will fix it. Don't get yourself worked up unnecessarily. Please, I'll make you proud. Soon. You know what? I'll fix you your favorite. How about a glass of fresh juice? Just how you like it? 
so you can cool off. What do you say? Shame on you. What? I thought someone was going to say, Ma, let me get you a meal. Food cooked by a wife and not Jews all the time Mom, at your I'm age. Doing my best. And that best is not good enough. <laughs> Take you in Tanata to open the gate. Columbus, right? Yes, madam. And you are paid well, right? Uh, my old guy is doing his best, man. He's very much trying. Because I think you do not know what you're doing. Anyways, is my son in? Uh, uh, yes. He is in. He has been inside since morning. He has never come outside. Is he with somebody? Maybe I'm tired. Already? Come on. No, I need to go upstairs and have some rest. Please. All right. Okay. No problem, darling. I'll see you soon. Okay. Excuse have a good me. rest. I'll see you later. Love you. Oh, I wouldn't know. But uh, he has been talking to himself and with himself. In fact, he has been talking, talking, talking. There's always a, there's just a talking inside. Yeah. Can you close this gate? Yes, ma'am. Wow, what a beautiful house your son got here. <sighs> well, you will get to know the reason God said it is not good for a man to be alone. Avalon? Avalon? Mom! You didn't tell me you were coming. Alright. Make yourself comfortable. You're welcome. What can I offer you? Drinks? No need for that. Sit! What kind of nonsense is this? So if if I had not left Ntede, my hometown, to come to this place, would, would she have? There's no problem. Oh, there are lots of problems. But I'm here to solve them once and for all. Problem? What could that be? Avalon. Mom. Your mom came all the way to your house. Instead of you to offer me food cooked by a wife. Mm -mm. Here you are, trying to offer me drinks. Mother, please. I'm not done! You want me to have diabetes at my old age? Hmm? Mother, 
I thought you've been through this many times. Do we have to go through this again and again and again all the time? All right. Emily, just look at her. Very beautiful from head to toe. Emily is not here for you to say hi or to wave your hands. But I brought her for both of you to get along and for you to marry her. What? Oh, mother. Why are you talking like someone from a storybook? You think choosing a wife for a full-grown man like me can work? It has never worked and never will. It will. Oh, yes, this time it will. I have given you enough time to act like a full-grown man you claim you are. But no, you decided to act like an adolescent that needs a guideline. It's all right. Emily is here to guide you. You must marry her. <laughs> this is... You know, I, I actually thought things like this only happened in Hollywood movies. Well, well, I am sorry to bust your bubble, dear mother. I already have someone I'm in love with. Yes. And we're planning on getting married soon. Really? Yes. A woman who has vehemently refused to see your mother. A woman whose low self-esteem will not even let her stand before your mother. Oh, no, please. <laughs> of course I'm not done. She knows she cannot pass through my scrutiny. And you know that too. Brother, enough of this. You want to meet my wife? Huh? You want to meet the woman I'm going to spend the rest of my life with? And that's going to make you happy? Fine! You will meet my wife! And guess what? You will meet her so fast you won't even believe what's coming to you, mama. I promise you that you will meet my wife. But this conversation, this whole talk, this is the end of it. We're not going to have this conversation again. Okay? But I promise you, you will meet my wife. You will meet her pretty soon. And what is going to happen to Emily? He will come out and meet both of us here. From today, this is your home. As a matter of fact, you can go fix us something to eat. That's the door. Once you enter there, the next door by your right is the kitchen. Get up, go fix us something. everything. She may be right. But I have my reasons. I don't want to see your mother now. I don't want to start what I will not finish. What are you talking about? Baby, I love you. You love me. Why won't we legalize it? What is stopping us from legalizing our love? I mean, I can't stand by and watch another man take you away from me. Where are you going? Alone. I'm going to the world called Alone. What could be wrong with her? This is weird. What is her problem? What is, what is going on 
in this compound. Why is everybody in this compound acting so funny? Why? My boss is always talking to himself. And if he is not talking to himself, he will just keep to himself. And madam, the mother, every time she comes to this house, is either she's shouting up or she's shouting down. Shout, 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 shout. What is happening in this compound? Why is everybody acting and behaving funny? This is very, very ridiculous. Very ridiculous. Columbus wanted. It is better you keep to yourself, keep to yourself and mind your business. Columbus, Columbus, mind your business. I, I mind my business. The most important thing is, at the end of the month, they will give me my salary. Yes. My salary is most important to me now than whatever that is going on in this in this, in this combat. sleep. <sighs> Is it because of what my mother said today? Never walk between us. What are you saying? The most important thing we need is love. And we both love each other. Let's do this. Let's do it. You won't understand. Behind every life's adventure is a revelation of puzzles. With relative obscurity. You coming into my life is a true definition of love. <laughs> Just say yes. Say it. <laughs> And we will proceed immediately. Okay? <laughs> Baby. Come on. I love you. I love you more than anything in this world. Your mother, 
is right. You cannot marry a woman who wants nothing to do with your family. You cannot. And who told you she wants nothing to do with my family? You said it yourself. I mean, she doesn't want to be seen anywhere outside or near any member of your family. And come to think of it, she doesn't even want to meet your friends, which in itself is weird. And the two of you have never been spotted anywhere outside. My woman what? is an introvert. Oh, come on, man. Besides, I'm marrying her for myself. Not for my family. Not for my friends. Neither am I marrying her for the world. Stop making excuses for her, okay? I honestly hope you're not making a big mistake. Okay, let's change this topic. Please, I feel like hanging out, all right? And this time, I want local. <laughs> when I say local, I mean local. <laughs> I am the king. Of I know what you can do. Local food vendors. I'm on. I'm the one that is not too far away from here. Mm -hmm. Being cheap. And what can you want? Mmm. 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 Mmm, mmm, mmm. <laughs> that is what I'm talking about. Look how we... This is what I've been missing. Mmm. <laughs> thank you. Thank you for bringing me here. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You're a good man. <laughs> but I told you. I have an easy open. Mm. You indicated interest in buying an already built event center. Oh yes. You have something for me? Show me. Yeah, I have some in my phone. Hope you don't mind. No, I'm always interested in real estate. Show me what you have. Oh God, have mercy. So food is so food. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Scroll through. Mm. Scroll through. Oh, this is lovely. I love, I love the finishings. But hey, man, I need something bigger. We're talking about a mall here. So I want a situation where we can have more stores. And you know what that means, more money. No, keep scrolling. You'll see one with a very vast compound. Really? Yeah. Mm. Okay. Oh my God! What is it? What? Sweet girl. One of my fishes. <laughs> what was that for? Columbus, is she still in the house? Has she gone? Is who still in the house? Welcome, Maga. Who, who in the house? Columbus, uh, uh, you're a fool. Yes, sir. What did I say? You said you are a fool. Columbus, you are a compound fool. Yeah. What did I say? We are saying the same thing, sir. You are a compound fool. Oh my God, you're dumb. Yes, sir. You're dumb. You're, I don't know how I employed you. Yes, sir. It's a mistake. Yes, sir. And we're going to fix it. Yes, sir. Hi! Is, is who still around? 
Zapata! Zapata! Stop talking. What is your relationship with Lancelot? What is going on between you and Lancelot? No, don't even give me that look. I have evidence. Yeah? I saw the picture of you kissing Lancelot on my bed! Sweetie, sweetie, calm down. Just take it easy. Okay? Hmm? Take it easy, okay? A little kiss. <laughs> when hot. Come here. Don't you think it's time to unscrabble the puzzle? What puzzle? Hi! Hey. Hi! Hey. I'm going to know about you. I'm going to know about you. Hi! Hey. Is my organ even mad because I'm here? Hi! Hey. Oh! Ancestral courses will not leave me. What did I do to my organ now? Is it hard for you to open the gates? Is uh, my son in? Yes, he, he, he just walked in. Mm. Baby, you look so beautiful. Thank you. I can't just get enough of you. You flatter me, right? Flatter? Look at your skin. Just look at you. You look like me. <laughs> I, love I love you too. You. Oh, Mom, you're here. Welcome. Mother, finally, allow me to introduce the one, the only, Zapata. My woman, Zapata. <laughs> Yes, darling. That's my mother. Isn't she beautiful? What is Sita Avalon? What are you doing? Mother, what is the problem? Wait. Don't you like Zapata? There is no one here. Who is Zapata? But I will not have you neglect Zapata. I thought you've been cured of hallucination. Okay. I know this works. Okay, so fine. I'm gonna let you two get along, get to know each other. You know, mother-in-law to daughter-in-law, okay? Come back to your senses! Baby, baby, wait. wait, wait, wait. Have you seen what she calls? Huh? Now she's mad and she has gone upstairs. I thought she wanted to meet my woman. You were raving and, and, and disturbing my life about meeting my woman. And now you met her and you two can't get along? Why does it make sense? Huh? My daddy, come. Please. You are all alone. Please. You will not neglect my Zapata. Son, son, look at me. You're all alone. I don't understand, mom. I really don't understand. You've been raving. You've been all over me because you want to meet my wife. I want to meet your wife. Who is your wife? I want you to get married. Now I bring, brought my wife to you. And, 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 and look at what happened. Huh? You don't even like her. Huh? You couldn't even give her a chance to, 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 to get to know you. Huh? Avalon. You will not neglect my Zapata. How could he have known her? 
they wouldn't have met Overseer because she never mentioned it to me. There is something sinister somewhere. I must find whatever it is before it finds me and unravel my secret. Everyone has a secret and not every secret is revealed. have been wrong with my son. Did he start doing drugs? I know he used to hallucinate, which I'm sure he got a good medical attention. What could have happened? Avalon, I cannot lose you. Since he came back to Nigeria, he has been behaving strange. Something must be wrong with him, and I must lay my hands on whatever it is. Oh God, save my son. I still have some questions. I'll be disappointed if you don't. What actually happened back there? Your mother was right. I wish I'm still human. I wish I had the opportunity to explain before now. But I had no opportunity for the circumstantial protocols. What are you talking about? I wish I could recall everything that happened. But unfortunately, I cannot. The only thing I can remember is that you're holding on to Zapata's ghost. What? You're a ghost? You literally don't want me to explain everything. Please calm your nerves, please. A ghost. Calm your nerves. A ghost. A ghost. A ghost. Please calm your nerves. A ghost. Scream. I'm sorry I put you through all this. Don't scream. I beg of you, please. Can someone wake me up and tell me that I'm dreaming? Can, 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 someone, can someone wake me up and, uh, and tell me it was all a dream? 
Oh, I slept. I slept hoping to wake up and realize it's a dream. Huh? Avalon, I need your help. You need my help? Who are you anyway? A witch? A ghost? Huh? A spirit? Am I dead? What? This conversation is not supposed to be. What is happening? Honestly, I don't even know. All I can remember is this house. I don't even know if I'm actually a ghost. But I realize I'm stuck between the land of the living and the land of the spirit. If there's anything like that. The only person who can see a ghost is a ghost. Or someone who studied necromancy. And I'm not a philosopher. Am I dead? Huh? I'm dead. If I can see you and touch you, it means I'm dead. I need my sedatives. I have to sleep. I need to Stop go Stop being school. nervous, Avalon! Calm down! I need your help. I don't even know who I am. And you need to help me. And you have a lead. You want to know who you are? Fine! The only way you can be a ghost is when you die. You're dead. You see? I've defined you to you. Now, disappear. Do what ghosts do. Just like in, in, in Hollywood movies. Just go away and let me have my peace. Oh, Avalon. Don't go close to me. I'll scream. Just Avalon. Go ah! Avalon. Ah! Let me close my eyes and then I'll hear the swoosh sound. And you're gone. Avalon, please. And, and, and I'll forget this ever happened. I, I never know you. I never, I never, I've not seen you before. Okay? Avalon. You're a spirit. Disappear. Let me have my life back, please. Please, I'm begging you. Please, please, please. I, I'm begging you. In the, in the, in the name of God. I'm, I'm sure you respect God. Just go, okay? You're a spirit. And, and, and God is, is, is a bigger spirit. So respect God and go. It is appointed unto man to die once. And next is judgment, okay? The next place you're going is to see God. Just disappear. And let me have my peace. Please. Don't come. Don't come close to me. He's either talking to himself, or he's screaming, or he's shouting, even at night. Just look at, look at a handsome man like him. Why is that all these men who found opportunity to go to the white man's land will always come back taking cocaine? Must they take cocaine? Must they go into drugs? There is nothing that will ever make me to leave my hometown, DJ. To go to the white man's land in the name of uh, 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 living there. Just look at. No, 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 no. I cannot get myself involved. Look at, look at, look at my guy. A handsome man like that, always talking and shouting to himself. Madness! Come and sit down now. Please don't kill me. Please. I don't know what else you expect from me, but my response 
is N O. No. My mother already thinks that I'm crazy. I think that I'm crazy. I just, I just, I just hope. I wake up in the morning and realize that all this was just a nightmare. I see your love for me every day in your eyes. I'm not going to leave you until you help me. The only thing I can remember now are Mr. Lancelot and number six, Valentine's Crescent. And now you said you saw my picture in his phone. So maybe you traced my origin back to him. And that is it. That's where you got it all wrong. You remember last night, and I found your pictures in his phone. So go to Lancelot. Just, just go to his gallery, okay? Inquire about your being. I'm sure you, you will get positive response, huh? or, or probably you will get the address to the land of the spirit. Alone. I've fallen in love with you. Really? Oh, same here. But, but it's weird to be in love with a ghost. Look, Zapata, is that even your real name? Or a ghost name? Look. I can't, I can't really help you. I'm losing myself. In fact, I'm, I'm, I'm surprised that I've not even fainted out of fear and, 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 and... Shock. Shock! Shock, yes, shock! I mean... <laughs> are, you, are, you, are, you, are you keeping me <laughs> conscious? With some, some special powers? Oh my god, you look so cute when you're scared. Stop patronizing me. You're a ghost. I mean, I mean, I can't, I can't, I, look, I'm human, and you are, uh, uh, okay, okay, fine, tomorrow, I'm going to help you, but you promise? To go wherever ghosts go. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. She's gone. You promised to help me not to run away. I'm not running. I'm here. I'm here. Ah. I love you, Avalon. I love you. Uh, I love you too.
I love you, Zapata. I love you too, my French child. Good morning. Why do you always badge in on me like a ghost? That's how ghosts do, right? Come on. Come. <laughs> Let me dress you up so we'll go out. Okay? What? Zapata. <laughs> are you a phantom? I love you. <laughs> I don't even know why I'm doing this. Sweetie, you're in this already. You just have to finish up. I keep on wondering when his family will take him to a psychiatric hospital. Is it not obvious that he is raving mad? Hey! What this? My ogre is practically raving mad. Valoni. You didn't even give me a chance to explain. Instead, you punched me and walked away. But all right. She was my ex-girlfriend. I loved her very much. 
but uh, sadly, things didn't quite work out well between us, so she left. Don't believe him. He's lying. Why do I have a feeling that you're lying to me? Why would I lie to you? Oh, come on, you're my good friend. Why would I lie to you? Anyway, I think she traveled abroad or something. She's my girlfriend. She's the woman I want to marry. I don't understand. I don't understand too. Is she the Zapata that you've spoken so much about? Oh yes. And I want to find out what she's doing in your phone gallery. Both of you on my bed. I sold the house to you, remember? You didn't tell me you lived in it before selling it to me. I never said I lived there. But whenever I run out of cash, I sleep there with any fish that I catch. <laughs> what? Plants? You refer to humans as fishes? Oh, fine. Sorry, my bad. But you know, there's a there's a mix-up somewhere. You know, how is it possible that you can see Zapata? Maybe. You mean she's dead? Not supposed to be rested in peace and not visiting me? talking about Lancelot can we go to my house to clarify things clarify what exactly or clarify what I've been in this house for a while, and frankly speaking, it's only the walls that are staring at me. Mm. Lance, you know I get very edgy when someone keeps me waiting for a long time without providing sincere answers to simple questions. What? What did you do to Zapata? Drop it, Valoni. That question is not for me. She was your girlfriend. Tell me about her family. Excuse me? What do you take me for? A murderer? You see? There you go. You said it all by yourself. You insinuated it. You made the suggestive statement that proves that she is no more. So, save us the stress by telling me where is Zapata? Immediate answer will save us the stress. Where is Zapata? Something tells me he will not oblige you with the truth. So what should I do? Pressure him. Put some fear in him. You will see the outcome. And I know you can do better. You know, Valoni, 
Is it an obvious? Are these your hallucination problems getting out of hand? Huh? Why don't you see a psychiatrist or a shrink? Or go back overseas for treatment? Lance, are you trying to say that I'm going insane? insane? I never said that. But tell me, what man in his right senses would see a ghost and claim to be in love with that ghost? What man? Lance. Did you just admit that Zapata is dead and now a ghost? <laughs> this is the end of the road for you, Lance, and I will make sure I nip you in the bud. We have a lead. Mr. Lancelot. In accordance with the Administration of Justice Act of 2015, you are under arrest for the murder of Ms. Zapata. You have the right to remain silent. For anything you say or do can be used against you in the court of law. It's over, Lance. It's over. Thank you, Mr. Avalon, for contacting us on time. I promise that we will get to the root of all this and we will investigate him thoroughly. Thank you, Detective. Please, I want you to get to the root of all of this. There is still a lot he's not saying. Right. Um, you will have to follow us to the station. Oh, sure I will. I'll be driving behind you. Okay. Listen, officer, I am innocent of this accusation. Mm -hmm. Avalon killed his girl and framed me for it. And that explains why he's the only one who sees her ghost. Okay, I am not doubting you, Mr. Lancelot. But firstly, you have to go with us to the station. Please. Mm -hmm. What an, what an epic, epic show of bravery. bravery. Step, Step one, one done. done. Step one? Step one? We need to get all of this done with. Everyone is not seeing me as mad. You're not, You're not mad, mad. And, and soon, soon all, all this will be over my love. Okay. Okay. Please, I want to ask you something. I was coming to ask you something important about the Ogalan slot. But now I want to ask you something that is even more important. Please, Ogalan. What? Are you alright? Are you alright? Columbus. Okay. Get back to your duty post. Uh, uh, yes, I understand. But please tell me, are you sure you are not... Get back to your duty post! Now! No problem. I will do just that. Uh, but Oga, uh, from in my hometown, Teje, my grandfather, uh -uh, Get out! Get out! Get out! Get out! Oga, on a go on. Get out! Mantam. Oga. Even my boy thinks that I'm bad. Huh? I have, I have an, an idea. idea. An idea? What idea? What? What I did? No more ideas, no more! Killing a woman 
who gave her heart in love, who gave her trust and everything she had. Is such an obvious act. And I know that is not due to a quarrel. And I ask, why? The truth will not set you free here. But it could give you a fair legal option. Telling lies will make you die twice before the final judgment. You know, looking at you, I'm wondering, what is a beautiful woman like you doing in an enclave like this? What are my chances of making it out of here alive? I could help you prepare a paperwork for a third degree murder. Manslaughter. Hmm. Fair enough. And what happens after that? I get out of here as a free man? Hmm? This just a friend to be that you murdered Zapata. And they ask, why? Sweetie, hmm? you know I love you. And I'm ready to give you my all. Mm. Wow. I'm touched by those words. <laughs> ah, you know, I really can't wait to get to know your family. Sure. You will meet them. Serious? You'll meet my family soon. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so let's drink up. Huh? Sure. Wow. Ah. Hi, Lance. Thank you. Well, I can see you guys are really getting along. Yeah. You see, Lance is an angel sent from heaven just for me alone. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, well, sorry, I've got to rush back to the office. I have a few things to do. Okay. Okay. Love you too, baby. See you. <laughs> wow. So tell me, <laughs> where is this relationship heading to? Uh -uh. To the permanent destination, of course. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
Mm-hmm. <laughs> well, I wish you guys good luck. Thank you. Uh-huh. I'm happy for you. <laughs> Thank you so much. Don't worry. Very soon, Raymond will be back from overseas and get married to you. So you live together in love. I can say that again, baby. I'm happy for you, baby. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, it's gone. I love him so much. I can see. You don't need to tell me. I've seen it all over you. <laughs> Lance, Lance. You're a bad boy. Oh, God is joined together. Let not promiscuity put asunder. <laughs> Zapata, my sweet, sweet Zapata. Now that I've got it into your heart, I'm going to use you as a tool to milk a lot of cash from your father. <laughs> Senator Dr. Austin Onagorichi. Your money is mine from this moment on. We move. You sound that so moody on the phone. What is it? How are you? Sweetie, I would have been fine. If my sweetheart that I know would cheer up and tell me what the problem is. Huh? I've actually got a problem that's been bugging me for some time now. You see, there's this mini estate that I want to buy. But I don't have the funds to achieve it. Okay. How much are we talking about here? About 75 million naira will secure it. Then I can proceed to arrange other things. Now, from the projections made by my business development manager, I stand to profit 150 million naira if I put it up for sale. <laughs> my love, you know money cannot be a problem. Hmm? <laughs> Talk to me, honey. The amount here is huge. <laughs> what are you talking about? Relax, okay? I'm going to transfer 25 million into your account from my business account. <laughs> then I'll talk to my father to see what he can do. Okay? Oh. <laughs> Will you smile for me now? <laughs> Honestly, I don't know what to say, but I'm indebted to you. <laughs> it's okay, honey. I, I love you so much. And there's nothing I cannot do for you. I'll do anything. Just name it. I'll do everything for you. I love you too. I, I don't know what I'll do without you. <laughs> Come here. Oh, baby, you didn't tell me you were coming. Ah, uh, do I owe you an explanation on when and where and time to visit my fiancé? <laughs> well, not really, not really. But you know, this place is like a work area, you know, and protocols should be observed. All protocols observed, Mr. Lancelot. Okay, cool. Yeah. Baby, mm-hmm. I have good news for you. Can you guess? Mm. Mm. You know what? Uh, now this house, you know, that uh, I'm furnishing for one of my clients, so I would rather that we go someplace that is more ideal so I can hear the good news. Okay, fine. Let me come over. just told me 
that she was ready to do anything to keep the relationship with you. Yes, she was. But the intention wasn't about the love that we shared. Rather, the motive, the target, was the money that I needed. <laughs> Are you for real? What about the pregnancy? That. You see, the book of Mark, chapter 10, verse 9, and I know you're familiar with your scriptures, clearly says that what God has joined together, let no man put asunder. Now, Zapata's pregnancy represented asunder. So, I had to get rid of it, of course, until things went south, totally amiss. You know, you are such a cold-blooded killer. And looking at you, one could hardly believe that she can hurt a fly. Don't you think your wife will be disappointed in you? My wife has been with me through thick and thin. You see, all that I've ever done, the extreme measures that I've taken, the insane obsession with chasing money and acquiring wealth, have been geared towards one specific purpose. To make her happy. And now that you have met your Waterloo, how can you fix your wife? This is Sarah Lancelot. I am here for my husband, Mr. Lancelot. He was arrested for a related murder case. Please, step me to him. That snake is your husband? I beg your pardon. Just because you are a police officer does not give you the temerity to refer to people anyhow you want. My husband is not a murderer and he can never be. So take me to him now! Madam, let the court decide this. Yes! Let the court decide that! Take me to him! You look like a young man who is insane. Are you suffering from schizophrenia? No, sir. But your daughter has a lot of revelation to make. Please, talk to your parents. 
for you calm down. Calm down? Talk to them. Don't be silly. What else you want me to tell them? So that you know they cannot hear me. You talk to them. Can you? Can you see we are wasting our time talking to a psycho? Can you see that? Did you hear that? They just called me a psycho. No. He sounds the parents called me a psycho. I told you I didn't want to come here. It sounds ridiculous. Honor, I am out of here. If you are done drinking, you can go. On the 16th of last month, you gave your daughter 15 million naira for a business investment. The investment that never matured before she died. Can we talk about that? Daddy. Why are you sad? Because I know my daughter and I know when she's worried. Daddy, there's this real estate business that I want to start. And I need about 15 million Naira to achieve that for a start. It will be 15 million naira. Yes, daddy. Well, um, that shouldn't be a problem. You know, daddy loves you. And I would do anything to support your entrepreneurial mindset. Thank you. Now, Tell me about the business. Mm. Um, you see, Daddy, I'm still new, you know, but like in school. My daughter. Mommy. What type of business did you say? I, I can't understand. Did you say real estate? Mommy's real estate or? business. Okay. You know, build and sell. Yeah, I was told when you invest a whole lot of money you're going to make it you know it's good to plan for your future <laughs> daughter and mother i can see you're having a heart to heart talk Daddy. <laughs> um Um, take this check. You cash it out on Monday. I promise to invest more when the business mature in your name. Daddy! <laughs> Thank you! Thank you so much, Daddy. Thank you, Mommy. Thank you, Mommy. Oh, Daddy, I'm so mommy, happy. Thank you. Be careful, eh? Sure, I will. I want the best for you. Okay, I'm mommy. The best for you. Okay, mommy. I won't disappoint you. Yeah, I'll be careful. And if I'm giving the opportunity to come to this world again, you both will remember my parents. You can say that oh. again. <laughs> and you will still be my daughter. Yes, mommy. <laughs> Proud to have a daughter like you. Business minded. <laughs> Thank you, daddy. And I won't disappoint you. Trust me. Are you saying my daughter is dead and was murdered by her supposed fiance? I am saying that I have a lead to the suspect of your daughter's disappearance. I hope this is not one of the plot to distract my political ambition. Because if I find out that you are a pawn in their games, I will crush you. You know what he said? No, no, you heard him. Maybe he might be saying the truth. He might be saying the truth. So why is he the only one seeing her? 
what the ghost does is to torment whoever that is responsible for their mother. It is what they told us. It is what they told us and we can't dwell on that. We can't. Sir, if I were you, I will get to the root of all of this. You can't do. You didn't do it, right? I mean, it's just a lie. I mean, talk to me. It's me. Talk to me. <laughs> Avalon killed the girl and framed me for it. That's why I'm here. But wait. The said you testify that you're responsible for her death. Thank God you're here. Your husband here has been accused for the mother of one miss, Zapata Champagne Austin. Living with this man over the years, can you say he could do something? My husband, that I know, cannot even hurt a fly because it's perched on his food. <laughs> yes, but this hurt you. Do you know the lady on that picture? Have you any time anywhere seen that face before? Can you remember? stress yourself out lately so you need to rest hmm? because this migraine is messing with your mind now you're creating meaningless illusions about ghosts no, 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 no this is not meaningless i know what i'm talking about i'm serious though i'm serious where is uchi you're supposed to have picked him up from school right yes mm -hmm. he's in the room changing mm -hmm. I'm very worried. Worried about what? Um, 
Which is, what is it? Why are you shouting? Remember her. She is the young lady whose ghost torments my son and I in her house. Yes, she's the one. <laughs> and that's the exact lady your husband murdered. No. <laughs> Something. Tell me they lie. Tell me, tell me they are lying against you. Tell me, talk to me. Get me a lawyer. I need legal representation ASA. Listen, detective, I'll make you a proposition. Hmm? If you can get me out of this place, I'm going to reward you with a sum, 10 million naira. That could help establish you when you set up a business in a lifetime. Think about it. And what makes you think that I will collect? The 10 million naira. Everybody needs money. As beautiful as you are, you need money. I need money. Even the rich still need money. You know why? Money stops nonsense. So think about my proposition because I really can help if you want. I need to leave this place AS. Right. Everyone needs money. Yeah. <laughs> I refuse to be too cheap. Okay, fine. I respect that. We understand each other. All right. I'll raise the stakes. 15 million. With that, you can leave the shores of this country and resettle in any country of your choice. Fair enough.
another crime, Mr. Lancelot, trying to bribe an officer of the law. Your kind is not worthy to be in the street. And I will make sure you rough in the maximum security unit. Nemesis has caught up with you. overseas only for you to return to Nigeria for ghost hunting mother what are you talking about the original plans was for you to return to this country and get married the... get involved and in charge of your father's business I am not getting any younger the plan has not changed it has oh yes it has the very moment you started living under the illusion of you falling in love with a ghost, it changed completely. Now you listen to me, Avalon. If you do not want to lose your father's business, do the needful. Else, I will sell that company and donate the money to the orphanage. Eh! I am not threatening you. I mean every word. My mother was right. I left the plan and went ahead to hunt for ghosts. Do you not regret helping me to avenge my death? My only regret is that our love is not only ephemera, but also a mirage. I'm in love with a woman and I cannot spend the rest of my life with her. There is no forever with us. I, I understand how you feel. I totally understand how you feel. What you're doing, you're doing for me to rest in peace. And when you do rest in peace, I will have no peace. Because there will be nobody to put a smile on my face. You will not be there to put a smile on my face again. Uh, we'll have to do something. We'll make it work. Alright? Mm. Almost everybody thinks that I'm mad. Everybody thinks that I'm crazy. What people think does not matter. Sweetie, be consoled with the fact that you're doing the right thing. Columbus. Okay. 
I'll be going out this morning. So I want you to wash my car to be squeaky clean. What did I say? Uh, you said you would be going out this morning. Yeah. And then you want me to wash your car. Squeaky clean. Squeaky clean. Yes, I mean very neat. Very neat. Yes. Squeaky clean. Just wash my car. No problem. Columbus, I want you to wash my car. Squeaky clean. Squeaky clean. Very neat. In a, in a one. Columbus, why are you standing there moping at me like a mugu? Are you done with what I told you to do? Uh, honestly speaking, Oga, I do not have answers to this last question you just asked me. Oga, you see, from the day I came into this compound mm -hmm. to work, I have been noticing some strange things. Sometimes you keep talking to yourself, you know, discussing with an unseen person, like, like, like if you are talking to a ghost. Oga, do you not know that, that such a thing can get someone surprised? And I'm here to ask you, please, Oga, it's a very simple question. Are you mad? Will you shut up? How dare you stand before me and ask me such stupid question? Are you mad? Are you really mad? Shut up! Shut, shut, shut up! Shut, say it loud again and I will break out your tongue and slice it! Please, take it easy on him. He's your boy. How dare you tell me to take it easy? Huh? What right does he have to stand here and utter such rubbish to ask me such stupid question? Oga? Oga, okay. is it not becoming obvious that what I'm saying is true? I am standing here talking with you, and you automatically turn to be talking to an unseen person. What else do you want me to say? If not that there is madness somewhere, Oga, okay, please, I want to ask you this question. Are you mad? The young man is actually right. Just calm down. Okay? Calm down. Olga? Please go back to your post. I'll talk to you later. Mm. Yes. Mm. Okay. Olga, um, in my hometown, Dodge, there is something very important we used to say. Never any say, no, you never will. I will never. I, 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 it simply means that anybody who is getting lost will automatically find a reason for him or herself so that the person will end up to be lost completely. Columbus, are you mad? Please, go back to your post. I beg you in the name of God. Mm -hmm. I'll talk to you later. Eh? Uh, okay. Okay. But, but you, you need to also consider this thing. Look at the atmosphere. AC is everywhere. But you are practically uh, 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 sweating. Uh, 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 evidence of madness. Oga, are you mad? Columbus, please. Go back to your duty post. I'll talk to you later. Thank you. Columbus, go back to your post. You're not mad. You see, honey, you just have to take things easy. Else people will think you're actually running mad. 
ok? That is a suspect. He confessed to killing your daughter. You! You! Stop! How dare you lay your pity hands on my daughter! Sir, can you please calm down? You are a man of the people. You must pay for this. Sir, this is not right. You are a public servant with great repute. Don't be amused by the press or even charged for assault. Please. Take him away. Yeah, um, thank you, my dear. And um, I want you to make sure he paid dearly for my daughter's debts. That won't be a little bit. It will be charged to court on Monday morning. Good. And please, once more, um, how am I going to go about my daughter's remains? Uh, the suspect confessed to burning your daughter's body into ashes. We took a pathologist to the venue. He confirmed traces of ashes burnt from human tissues. Man's... Man's inhumanity to man. I want to sincerely appreciate you for everything you did. If not for you, I wouldn't have known my daughter's whereabouts. You're welcome, sir. Zapata was a good and empathic lady. She deserves the best. Sorry about your loss. Once again, thank you. You are welcome to my house anytime, any day. I don't know what we would have done without you. God has used you mightily to avenge the death of my daughter. Thank you, love. It is regrettable. But most times, what happens in our lives is predestined by God. No doubt you are a God sent to my family. How would I have known that my missing daughter is dead? Zapata was a beautiful soul. She didn't deserve the unfavorable fate. However, I'm glad with the judgment we got on last night. Once again, thank you, my son. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. Um, I think I should be on my way now. Thank God for the judgment. Now that Zapata's death has been avenged, what's next? Does that mean she will come back to me? 
or she will vanish never to be seen again. I wish I can also die or, or whatever that can make me to be with her again. Even if it's in another world. Yes, I want to inform you that I've gotten permission to pick ashes from where my daughter's body was found. Yes, I want to give her a little temporary ceremony. That is so thoughtful and honorable. So she'll be happy wherever she is. Yeah. We're doing that tomorrow. I don't mind if you can join us. Sure, I will. I will. Thanks for informing me. Thank you, sir. It's all right, sir. Bye for now. the matter my love you should be happy Lancelot was made to pay for your death yes I am but in a little while I will not be with you anymore because I'll be led to rest in peace It hurts, you know. I'm not going to stay without you. You will never be complete anymore. Because part of you will be on the lookout for me. Sometimes that's the pleasure of, of knowing and loving someone who is not with you. This time, it's going to be a punishment for loving someone who is from an alternate world.
I will always be with you. And God will give you a good woman. A woman that will love you. A woman that will care for you. You are a good man. Yes. I miss you. I miss you so, so much. <laughs> Baby, she's gone. <laughs> she's gone. souls of our departed sister, rest in peace. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Hey! 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 What the face did she come in? Oh my God! Oh my God! Jesus! What's up? Very well, thank you. So, who are you? My name is Avalon. 
Not the car. <laughs> <laughs> the human being. I know, right? Yes. <laughs> Um, I'm Cleopatra Young. Aha! I said it! I knew it! The actress! Yeah. And the TV presenter, yeah. Channel 5. Yeah. When I was driving by, instantly, you got my attention. I was like, isn't she the one? Maybe she's not. And when I came down, I was still trying to figure that out. Oh my god! Wow! You look even more beautiful in real life. Thank you. Jesus. Oh, stop it. Nice to meet you. <laughs> no, no. I'm a fan. Thank you. Oh Thank my you. God. Thank you for loving my movies. Thank you for Man, everything. I, 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 I can I, I love your TV shows, your <laughs> movies, everything. Thank you. In fact, there's so much I want from you. A okay. picture, an autograph, but most importantly, I would love to take you out right now. Just like that. Just like that. No. Come on. I can't go. It's just one of those days you meet a crazy fan that just wants to have a quality time with you. Please. Well, I've got my car. Yeah. Nice car. Thank you. But still, you can park your car here and then we'll, we'll take a ride on mine. And, and it's just a very nice restaurant by the corner. I just want to get you away from this sun. I mean, both of us are fresh, sweet people and we're not supposed to be under this scorching sun. I was actually going somewhere. I know. Come on. I'm a crazy fan. I insist. I want to take you out. Cleopatra. No, no. I don't think look, that's going to work. You cannot deny me this opportunity. No way. This is one of the best days of my life. No way. I met my superstar. I have to go out with you. And then I'll brag to all my friends. 